Technique, episode 20. This is the final lesson of the Guitar Technique program, the last episode, and throughout this course, we've really covered a lot of material. I've established over 100 drills and exercises for you throughout these 20 Guitar Technique lesson plans, and here in our final episode, I've got something really cool for you here. I decided to zero in on one of the really great techniques that I'm sure you're going to have a lot of fun working with. This lesson is all about performing bottleneck slide guitar. Now, this lesson uses a glass slide to perform both melodies and chord riffs, and I've started right at the very beginning with the how-to basics, and in the final video clips and final exercises we're gonna do on this, we'll check out open tunings and some stylistic ideas as well. So let's get started here in part one by learning how to perform bottleneck slide technique on a single string melody. Okay, in exercise one, the main thing that we're shooting for here is control over what's going on with the slide. Now, the technique of slide, you know, should be a fairly easy thing to do. There's really not much to it, but there are a couple of principles that you have to attend to, otherwise you're not going to get the best sound out of your slide. Now, I'm not going to be talking about uh, metal slides or ceramic slides or the, you know, specific glass slides. You're going to have to basically buy a bunch of them. You know, they're cheap. They're like five bucks, six bucks, whatever they are. And you just, you know, test them out. You, I bought a lot of these things before I decided upon this one in particular as being my favorite. Uh, but you'll have to go through metal slides and glass slides, ceramics, you know, just test out what you like, what fit, you know, fits your finger the best and which finger you want to play off of as well. Because some people really prefer the small finger. I, I don't. I, I like the ring finger, you know. So, uh, but you have to decide as you're getting into this, you know, what's going to be your favorite finger. And then once you work enough around, you know, developing your tone and discovering what works best for you, then the next step is to really, you know, start working on expanding what your capabilities are with using it. But we're going to start really at the, uh, you know, how-to basics, you might as well say, with this, because I want to get you acquainted with performing single note melody with the slide. So one of the things, I'm, and the nice thing about using a glass slide is you can kind of see through it. But one of the things I want you to be aware of is if you use a slide and you're functioning with it, you know, in the beginning, like it's, uh, you know, a, a typical, uh, you know, idea of finger placement onto the neck, what's going to happen is you're going to get a wrong note and you're going to get a, a lousy sound. The slide has to float directly above the fret wire. You know, it's got to be right above that wire. If I'm at the 12th fret, that upper wire right there is really where that slide tone is going to come from. And you have to have it floating above the strings. It doesn't, you know, go into the string and press down on the string like you would when you're fretting a note with your finger. The slide has to float directly over top of the fret wire and it's floating on the strings. You know, it's not pressing down, it's floating on top of them there. So that's the first thing you want to get used to. And to help you to understand, you know, how to get clarity, good pitch, good tone, what I've done is an uh, exercise, uh, the first example, in exercise 1A, I've got a single tone tracking melody that we're just working all along the second string with. I'm starting up here at the 12th fret, and I'm dropping down to the 10th, and then to the 8th, and then to the seventh. And then I'm moving back to the eighth and stopping there. You can tell too, I'm adding a little bit of vibrato with the slide. All you gotta do is just shake it lightly and float it over the tops of strings and you get a nice uh, vibrato effect out of that. So, you know, the main thing is you're shooting for the fret up, the fret wire, I should say, right up in front of the fret you want. So if I want 12 frets tone, I have to be up in front on that upcoming fret wire, and that's gonna give me that proper tone. So it's very good exercise. Take one note, try and play a melody. I have a note on second string for you in that exercise, but in exercise 1B, I've moved it and shifted it over to the third string. In this case, we're going from third strings 12th down to 11th, and then into 9th, 
and then into seventh, and then I'm dropping all the way down to fourth. So you got a little bit wider gap there that you have to fill. And at the end, it's dragging up there is from the fourth uh, fret up into seventh. And when you're practicing this and developing the feel for this, the main thing that you have to understand is that there's a, a feeling of a position with the slide and a way that you move it around that really gives you a nice slide tone. If, uh, if you uh, start out in the early days of doing this and you don't really think that your slide ideas sound all that great, it's nothing much more than you have to practice it. You're gonna have to put some time in and practice the execution of the movement of the slide along a string and then, you know, at one once in a while, if you have a, a longer duration note, just add a little bit of vibrato. You know, if you drop down into, let's say, seventh fret, and you're gonna stay there, or you're gonna come back into it like I do in exercise uh, 1B. You can tell, well, you know, adding a little bit of vibrato and then maybe just, you know, having the drop out of the note like I did. You know, it's going to have an interesting sound. It's going to uh, have a flow to it that'll be unique. And then how you execute all of this will just really be you building your slide style overall. So what I would suggest is your first jump into all this stuff is to make sure that you can target off of uh, each of the strings I just had given you there, second string and third string, play the melody, you know, fit it in and have everything working properly with good tone, good pitch relationship, try and add a little bit of vibrato and it's gonna be an excellent start for just getting going on performing accurate, clear, single note melody. So that's exercise one. We're gonna take a break now and come back in a moment with the second video where we're gonna do exercise two. Uh, in this case coming up, I've got some harmonic outline that I'm going to do with two and three note chords. So we're coming up with that one in the next video. Well, that was an excerpt from the 20th lesson of my Guitar Technique course. The remainder of this lesson is available behind a paywall on my website at creativeguitarstudio.com. But I thought you might like to see this segment, so I put it here on YouTube for you to get a better idea about what this Guitar Technique course actually has to offer. If you want to subscribe over on my website and gain access to this course along with my introductory, intermediate, and advanced guitar programs, plus many other guitar courses on the website, just head on over to Creative Guitar Studio com and sign up with a free lifetime membership to get started then you can always upgrade into either a monthly or you could go for the all access discounted yearly premium membership plan and if you have any questions along the way you can feel free to reach me either by phone or by email just click on the link in the youtube description box under where it says become a member today if you want to learn the modes and get a really good understanding for how they can be used musically to write songs, play a solo, or compose melody lines, then you're in luck. My ebook, Using the Major Scale Modes, is a comprehensive manuscript outlining exactly how modes are used in respect to harmony and to compose or improvise melodic ideas. Over 50 pages of scale patterns, example progressions, and music theory all come together to create a comprehensive method on how to use the modes that's easy to understand. Using the major scale modes is available for instant download in the View Our Products area at creativeguitarstudio.com. Thanks for watching part one of the lesson. Sign up for a membership at creativeguitarstudio.com to watch the rest of the videos. Up next, we'll study two and three note chords along with some cool stylistic riffs in open tunings. As a member, you'll also be able to download the handout for this lesson along with many more professional guitar lessons. Thanks for watching and we'll catch up next in the members area.